Autumn crept up slowly, but its There's final pounce was swift and violent. The yellow I bet it's like her. I bet then, uh, another notification the is her or something Fading like into the waning sun, it's like a mention, just like the probably. leaves on the trees. The puddle Maybe. of Celestia know. knows what was gone after only probably a few not. hours. Probably not. It's just a notification. Who but there remains Because she didn't say at Wyatt. Really. Not she just said exactly. hello, Wyatt. But An good. I'm glad she shot me out. She avoided the area at all costs, as did Rumble. Ponies came and went. A few who recognized her and grilled her ceaselessly. Weren't you teaching? I thought you moved to Canada a lot. Are you still friends with those other fillies from your childhood? Plus some more humiliating and patronizing comments every now and then, just to keep her humble. I thought it was so wonderful of Twilight to give a pony with your condition some reliable work. You're such an inspiration. Still making it work after all these years. Always Pegasi. Always condescending. Always met with a forced smile. And a strange... <laughs> and a quick transaction. <laughs> Rumble said one day. Scootaloo popped a stray piece of popcorn in her mouth. What way? I'm scared. Ponies always talk to me that way. Always thought it was kind of rude to earth ponies and unicorns. Like, I'm broken for having stented wings, but they're somehow fine. Who doesn't <laughs> hate Karen, like bro? Huh. Goddess, who doesn't hate Karen, yes, bro? Yes, it's like the whole cutie mark thing, then. What whole thing? Ah, <sighs> you know. <laughs> Super bad. Karen. Being a blank blank. Like, man. We've got all these other creatures without cutie marks. It's just weird. Scootaloo noticed for what was somehow the first time that Rumble was, indeed, building. still a blank flank. He hid it well, a too big I'm vest, gonna... and a certain positioning of his wings. There were some things you just didn't question, and a missing cutie mark at his age was one of them. Of course, now there's all the talk of adult blank flanks on the rise, so who knows? Maybe yeah, I was about to say, like, it's a video store. Scootaloo like, cocked her head. Answer that. So good. There is? Rumble looked up, caught like a deer in the light of his own thoughts. It's like where you could rent his movies cool and stuff. His suddenly spotlit and crumbling. Story of the blanks. Um, yeah, I guess. Though, I heard about it on the radio. I'm so sorry, Flame. I played that game. Mecca, <laughs> can you put the video on the screen here and let people know that I played the game? Relief Thanks, buddy. popped the popcorn machine open to take another scoop. The smell of standing oil hit her like a wall. And she scrunched up her snout in distaste. <laughs> Rumble laughed suddenly, a forced thing, just to move the conversation along. I always try to find that I played the game with the today. blanks. What? A poster for the Rainbow Factory. Scootaloo stiffened. Oh, oh wait! Whoa! 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 The what? The Rainbow Factory. You know, Whoa! all those tops you were on about. Scootaloo impatiently gestured for Rumble to continue. Whoa, 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 You've whoa. You've never heard that story? No. What is it? Super popular or something? Whoa, whoa. It's like a whoa, man whoa, whoa, whoa. your story at flight camp. Whoa, 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 whoa. Arched a brow. I don't think it allowed me to send I'm that one. I'm now just realizing you probably never went to flight camp. Great detective work. Fill me in. It... It's pretty Pump simple. Pump the brakes. Rumble said, cheeks glowing and eyes skating to the floor in obvious embarrassment. Pegasi who can't fly get fed into an evil machine that grinds them into woo rainbows. Woo woo. Something about how Celestia Pump the brakes, woo woo woo. But she lost the power after she banished Luna? I don't know. It's been a while. Scootaloo set her jaw oh no, and looked down screen. at the ground. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh no, red it's screen. It's not exactly, uh... Sensitive. Just oh. something they used to scare the anxious foals into the first big jump. Scootaloo did her best don't, to hide her expression don't, 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 as the bile don't rose in her tell throat. Her, don't tell her. She gently Red screen. Coughed and Red screen's never good. Anything that wasn't that that was safe. That was. I don't know, me. man. I don't know. I don't it like this. Use. The voices pinged about in her the head like loose marble. Scoot's Tripping <laughs> over her every thought. What do you mean you saw a poster? Uh, 
I don't know, like a recruitment thing, I guess? Telling fools to go up to the factory. I just assumed it had something to do with- You don't think that's weird? I mean, yeah. That's why I'm telling you. <laughs> it said something about, uh, contributing to society? That was a big theme in the story. Contributing to society. Oh, gee! It help us meet rainbows. Scootaloo screwed her eyes shut as the memories came flooding Too back. Too late! Hazy, muddled, dreamy fragments cut and pasted together without much care for sense or narrative. A blur which rushed past her every night as she tried to sleep, which haunted her while she was awake, which followed her every step for reasons she could not comprehend. <sighs> she tried to sigh, but the sound caught, and it came out a strained little thing. She remembered the dreams, and she remembered other things too. Scoots? Suddenly there was a hoof on Scootaloo's shoulder, trying to be firm and comforting, even as confusion rattled the pony behind Because I'm big brain! Because <laughs> I'm big brain! As much courage as he could muster. Because I'm case, big brain! It's, it's big Scootaloo brain time! <laughs> the worst of it. S sorry! S sorry! Are you okay? Fine. Rumbles I'm big brain. into a thin <laughs> And and I'm dumb. <laughs> he looked at Scootaloo and he that odd longing burning in his eyes. <laughs> as he stepped I just said because I'm big brain. Games. And yet, it's big his brain mouth time. Never opened. Oh, hey, wow. the equalizer. You look like a hey, the equalizer. Just spit it out, dude. That seemed to snap him out of it. Rumble blinked once, twice, then took a small step back. I just feel like there's something you're not telling me. Scootaloo shrugged and hey, turned the away. Her there it is, the Equalizer. The counter. What else do we got? There's other there movies. Is. There's the Equalizer. I know that help. movie. I, I don't. Rumble said quickly, pulling up beside Scootaloo at the counter. I just... I feel like I might need to know. Scootaloo grit her teeth and held in a telltale sign of resignation. She could feel her shoulders creeping up towards her ears as she tried to keep her composure. And then... The bell of the door chimed, and both ponies snapped to attention, customer service smiles overtaking their uncomfortable grimaces. Diamond Tiara stood in the doorway. Only her... Oh, I don't. She <gasps> Hi, wait a minute! Scanning the store in flinchingly quick motions of the head, she didn't say anything at all. Only took a few cautious steps into the empty store and stood silently. Wait, how are you alive? Wait, how are you alive? The shelves. Diamond, you all right? Diamond looked up, as if noticing Rumble for the first time. <laughs> wait, wait, how, wait, how are is you alive? Silver here. That was my cousin. Rumble's brow. <laughs> no. In fact, <laughs> thanks for the info. Diamond thanks for the info. <laughs> Scootaloo cocked her head. Hey, it's really uh, info. Is everything okay? <laughs> She's... Well, nobody seems to know where she is. The look in Rumble's that was my cousin. from one of annoyance <laughs> to one of outright concern. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> that was my cousin. Diamond mumbled, an admission she hadn't wanted to Not make. Scootaloo and Rumble shared a look. I should have checked to make sure she got home last night. She said she had a weird feeling, but I told her she was being paranoid. I Why would I say that? Scootaloo went cold. A weird feeling? Diamond looked up at Scootaloo, her eyes dark and steely. <laughs> she said she saw some pony. Oh, man. They were hanging around outside the library last night in some dark hood. So I told her moment. she needed to go home and get some rest. That was the last uh oh, time she's gotta be dead. She remembered that. She remembered hoods. By God, she gotta be dead. Dark hoods. A crowd of them, bearing down on her. Scootaloo made a small stride. By God, she's gotta be dead. <laughs> head snapped towards. I'm just her. saying, by God, she's gotta minutes. be dead. <laughs> by God, she gotta be dead. And in a blink, they were her friends once again. Scoots. 
Does that sound familiar? Do you know where she is? Scootaloo sucked in a small breath. I think so. Even more trauma. <laughs> How much traumas are gonna be lost? Excuse me. This is fine. It was cold up here. Wait, I'm gonna tell her. Scootaloo oh my god, I have to. Experience with. She was mostly okay with that. Even if she sometimes looked to the this side, is fine. wished that she could come and go as easily as the other Pegasus. This is fine. <laughs> the ease of it had changed. God. In the recent years, Princess Twilight had been pushing hard for Earth Pony and Unicorn scientists. This is fine. To play their part in weather control. It's good. It, it, it's gonna be and good. So it, 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 it's fine. This is fine. Up to clouds It's gonna be fine, man. In reality, <laughs> it was a hot air balloon this is awful. tracked on two metal poles. <laughs> But the title stuck. One thing that hadn't been accounted for, though, was the title. This is fine. Yeah, exactly. This is fine. It's all right. Ew, I'm getting freaking slobber on ponies and unicorns weren't so lucky. Despite Everything's that, fine. Stop no panicking. extra layers or heating system was provided on the no, elevator. Not lost. We don't and so, <laughs> it's not lost. Damn! Cold as it was, Wait, though, I'm going to say maybe no we already are. Teeth chattered. Their breath rose in little puffs of steam. And mingled with each other in the cold autumn air before joining in wispy bits of clouds, Maybe which we... drifted through the basket. When the basket, at long last, passed over the top of the clouds, the trio of ponies inside it saw another column of steam rising into the night sky. Whoa. Diamond's breath caught in her throat, though she said nothing. Scootaloo chewed her lip nervously. Why is it still running? Rumble shook his head. I don't... I mean, it can't. It's abandoned. It shouldn't be producing anything. Scootaloo didn't bother stating the obvious. The elevator came to a sudden and violent stop at the top of its poles. Heels and escalators. Surprise. You guys remember that? She was shaken from side to side. Scootaloo tried to reach out to steady her. But found that even the tiny shift in weight you guys remember eels and escalators from to one side and she quickly stepped back into her place they looked up at the factory it had an impressive silhouette though not a beautiful one it wasn't anything more eels than a drab gray cube rising dark against an almost equally dark sky and yet it seemed to pitch forward at a precarious angle to loom down upon those who approached it, contained only by the broken down chain link fence. Remember to stay on the path, Di. We don't want you falling through the cloud layers. Diamond nodded solemnly. She was the first to step out of the balloon. Rumble and Scoots followed closely, the empty basket swinging behind them. Scootaloo could feel that bit of Pegasi magic stirring up inside of her chest. What is happening felt right oddly now? oddly weak. I don't by understand. Fear which made her hooves quake and her lip tremble. Her hooves sunk into the cloud layer deeper than they perhaps should have. Hey, Rumble whispered, nudging Scootaloo with one wing. What's the plan exactly? Like if, like if there's a bunch of big ponies up there holding Silver Spoon hostage, what do we do? I don't know, dude. She's your mare friend. We're really not putting labels on it right now, so don't- What is happening?! Sake. Scootaloo hissed. I mean, this is the one please speed, Passing Rumble as the trio approached the front doors. Though they were enormous, the doors to the building were only simple sliding glass, long ago shattered by passing vandals. As they grew closer, the motion sensor seemed to catch them, and the door shuddered as they tried to crawl open. Diamond was undeterred. She stepped right through the convulsing frames and into the factory beyond. Scootaloo, however, paused. She had never been here before. She was certain of that. Factually certain. She would never have had a reason to be here. <laughs> what is she happening? I don't understand! Before. And yet... An overwhelming hey, Rebecca, sense can you explain of deja vu washed over her Please? as she stared up Anybody at, at all. Walls. I don't care who. There was I don't a know, bro. Scootaloo could have put hair. words to it if she tried, I but it felt heavy hair. with familiarity. <laughs> a feeling which tugged at her chest, 
threatening to pull her down to the cloud lair and send her plummeting to the earth below. Rumble caught up to Scootaloo, and after giving her one strong look, followed Diamond inside. Scootaloo, however, was rooted to the spot. She stared up at the factory. It chilled her, more than the icy wind, and more than the thought of what might have been happening to Silverspoon. Perhaps even more than what she'd found on the sidewalk. The factory windows looked like eyes. Oh man, I'm but in that the That wasn't factory. what scared her. The doors shook and crunched, trying to eat her as she passed over the threshold. But that wasn't what scared her. My heart's her pounding either. right now. <laughs> there was something. Oh god! Oh, 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 oh. That's also Stop with the jump scares! You're worthless to the flock as a pony. Something so close to the Jesus face, Christ! She could almost. But you still have purpose. Purpose to all the ponies in this land, far and wide. Could almost grasp it, and yet. You get to help us make rain. Gosh, damn, dude! Magical rainbow. And yet, could not. God, stop! God. And then she remembered. It hit her like a wall, like a hoof to the stomach. Tunnel vision took over. Memories what is going on, man? When they were new and sparkling, and pushed through them as they slid. What's going on, man? Inside. The smell. The salty, oily smell of liquid leaking out of. Yeah. Scootaloo yelped. What is going on, man? I don't know what's happening. Is she going through freaking drama or something? Like what? Remembered hoods. So many dark hoods. And yelling, shouting, screaming, growling, and barking. What the fuck is going on, man? Jesus Christ! Reached angrily. Who grabbed without regard to safety. Stop the earring! Get away! Don't touch me! She screamed, her voice small as it echoed. Stop the earring! The of the factory. Scootaloo! Scoots! Calm down! Some pony shouted. Rumble, maybe? Hard to tell. <laughs> Stop the earring! It's not really ear raping, I'm just as she messing. Came to a slick spot, and she found herself careening across oh crap, the factory oh floor. As she tried to get Don't touch me and everyone will be okay. Touched her. One of the hoods? Trying to grab her? Take her? Eat her? Don't touch me! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh! She threw a punch. It landed. And then she was back. Rumble was on the floor. Holding his cheek with one hoof and biting down hard on his bottom lip. Oh no! Even as his face contorted in pain, oh no! he held back any and oh all no! sound. Instead, oh only no! hard and heavy as oh he tried no! to whimper. Diamond stood behind him, one hoof on his shoulder, looking warily at Scootaloo. Scootaloo's chest rose and fell in ragged gasps. She sat up and lunged forward a bit intending to comfort Rumble, but the two ponies before her flinched away. Oh, I'm sorry. Scootaloo whispered. She reached out with one trembling hoof. I'm sorry, I just... This is what happened at Twilight School, isn't it? Scootaloo's breath hitched. She remembered that. She remembered the cut, deep and bleeding oozing out those oil slick rainbow Gabby actually the hit herself when she did her that that's amazing wailing after being struck Scootaloo cowering behind her desk Starlight's look of disappointment as she pushed the paperwork across the table to Scootaloo Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you <sighs> What is wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with me. She moved she, forward. she is Rumble scrambled away. I don't Lofty. Know. <laughs> Lofty! <laughs> I would never hurt you, but you did. What's going on with you, Scootaloo? What aren't you telling us? Diamond argued, pounding one hoof on the floor. Wait, I've been here before! 
The admission echoed throughout the empty building. New to her, but known to these walls for many years. But I didn't know! I've been having these nightmares and I've been here before! They love took D. me! Love they D. took me love here! D. Love That's D. why I remember the smell and the, the rainbow shit! The love the D. <laughs> Diamond repeated. She shook her head. Scootaloo, come on! That's a story! This is for fucking real! It is real! Listen to me! It's then the hooves Wait, what happened? Oh no! Oh no! Silent for the wailing their wings and hooves wailing that sickening crunch of bone as it strikes against the chrome. Oh, they're fiercely not before me. Let's carve and get a look. See what's hiding deep inside as I pull away their hands. 